Oh, hey! We have got a lot of fun for you today. Um, I made a special surprise and shared it with some friends, and I can't wait for you to see what they thought about it. first thing you see? Um, the roach. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Green. Green. Okay. <laughs> That'll work. All right. That'll so. work. I would like for you to remove your blindfold and tell me the first thing you see about the object in front of you. the first thing was the see? first thing you saw toilet water in a row <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks okay Liz. okay so when you're ready i want you to take the blindfold off and there's something on the table in front of you i want you to tell me the first thing you see all right okay whenever you're ready and your dirt <laughs> okay but what else do you see in there? I see grass, leaves. I see a cockroach. <laughs> I see a flower. And... Oh, There's something else leaves, sort of pleasant, I guess it depends on. Oh, I see glitter. Yeah. A little bit of glitter. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> no, not whenever he's ready. Just do it now, Kyle. Oily. Okay. Anything else? Oh, there's a roach in it. <laughs> there's another bug or something in it. That's a cricket. Yeah. What about something pleasant? Do you see anything pleasant? Flowers? <laughs> I don't know. It's Glitter? Something. Yeah. And that's not pleasant for an adult. <laughs> it's really nice. It's not. Was it hard to find something in there that you thought was pleasant? Yeah. <laughs> Took a little extra work to see that? Absolutely. Look at the thing that's in front of you. Okay. And you're going to tell me the first thing you see. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Mm, green. I see bugs. Do you see glitter? Yes. What about flowers? Do you see some flowers? Mm-hmm. Are those good? Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure that all of my friends appreciated that little surprise. Um, I have to say that was a lot of fun to make. Um, also, don't don't make jello like that at home unless your parents say it's okay. I just had to add that part in there. Um, Sometimes it's hard to see the good stuff in the middle of all the bad. Um, quite often, whether we mean to or not, uh, we focus on the bad. And it, that may be because we saw it first. Uh, that may be because it feels bigger. That may be because it takes so much longer and so much more effort to see the good. There's lots of reasons for it. But there is a verse in Philippians 4, 8 says, finally, my brothers and sisters, always think about what is true. Think about what is noble, right, and pure. Think about what is lovely and worthy of respect. If anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think about those kinds of things. So in this, we're told that we should think about the good and we should focus on the good. That's what God wants us to do. It helps us be positive. It helps us find ways to help others. Um, and it helps us to not get too just bogged down by the bad things in life. Uh, right now, a lot of things are different. And things are changing all the time. We're getting ready to go back to school. Um, some people 
school is going to be in person and for some people school is going to be online and even those who are going back to school that's going to look different too so i want to challenge you in these weeks ahead as we're going through all of these changes and new things to try to find the good and focus on that and try to let that give you the most positive experience you can i hope you have a great week